Hey everyone, this is uh, sort of a test of seeing how the YouTube video channel works. We're just trying a few things out. Now, we've got the Fed meeting at 5 o'clock Australian Sydney time, daylight time tomorrow. That'll be the 3rd of November. So currently the recommendations that I'm giving to people, and this is general advice only, is to take a little bit off the table and see what happens. If uh, there's anything other uh, than, uh, than the full hawkishness, you'll probably see the market rally. But if it is business as usual for Jay Powell, you're probably going to see the market come off a little bit in that instance. Either way, any rally that you can that you can do, that'll be a good chance to, uh, to to take a little bit off the table after that rally, some more off the table, and maybe think about putting it towards a, to a bond portfolio as well. I go in and recommended some of this stuff on Ausbiz just earlier. Anyway, this isn't the full video. This is really just a test to see what's going on and seeing if anyone picks up. So that's the the, the play over the next uh, the next day or two. And, uh, and into the rest of the month to try and get portfolios up to a 60-40 portfolio. The other thing that's going on right now is these rumors that are coming out of China saying that a, a China reopening team has been convened and will be working on uh, on getting China reopened. I do have a tendency, a little gut feeling about, uh, about me telling that that seems like a bit of baloney uh, at the moment. It's caused the Chinese market, Hong Kong stocks, to come off deep, deep, deep losses after the, uh, the Chinese Communist Party Congress that concluded about two weeks ago. Um, and we've uh, we've seen so obviously that rally that the Chinese stocks based on a reopening, but there is no reopening that we have seen. I continue to reiterate: until you see it or until you hear it, it does not happen. So uh, anything that you just see is rumor. So look, cheers for that, and uh, and let's see if this works. Thanks.